Okay, let's get started. I'm going to just brush this on very liberally. And I have a little piece of uh, paper underneath here. Actually, I thought it was going to be a little bit thicker because I haven't used it in a while, but it's still quite watery. Get it right onto the edges. This sign is approximately 11 and 3 quarters by so 8 and 3 quarters. So I'm going to just take some of this off to the side. Got a little more on there than I needed. Let's see if we can get that nicely now. And um, I wanted to use one piece of paper in particular. It really was cute beach sayings, but um, I couldn't find a way to do it without cutting into the saying. So I'm going to be adding some strips of that paper to the sign. Okay. Now I'm going to line up this corner and what I'm going to do first of all is just change out this paper that I now have covered with Mod Podge. There we go. <clears throat> I'm going to line up the bottom left hand corner with this paper and get it as straight as I can across the bottom. And I'm using a 12 by 12 piece of paper and obviously um, With the dimensions I just mentioned of the sign, it's big enough to fit. Maybe I'm going to wipe get up some of that adhesive. And just let it. This is quite thick paper, which is kind of nice, especially because I glopped that stuff on. Um, it won't wrinkle as some papers will. Okay, now you can see that I have some overhang. And I'm going to use a craft knife to trim that off. Don't worry about the corners because the corners we're going to round with our, um, I could cut them down a little bit, but then what we're going to do is take your um, sanding block and just cut them down. There we go. Okay, so now you have this, and you're going to need to let this dry and get nicely stuck. And then we're going to take the sanding block and just sand your corners. Make sure you always go away from it. If you go towards it, you're going to, of course, lift the paper off the sign. See that makes a nice round corner.
Okay. And if you see some bumps come up, you just need to roll them down. Um, you will get some. And the uh, a brayer is a nice instrument to use here. And I don't know what I've got under here. It almost seems like there's something underneath. Maybe a rough spot on the sign. But we're going to see if we can just push that down. little bumps I don't think you're going to see because we're going to cover them with some summertime sayings. Okay. Okay, we see this now. Okay, we have the sign covered. A little bit of a Now over here, let me just get this mopped up a little bit. Now this is the piece of paper I liked that had some of these summer sayings on it. So what I'm going to do is to just kind of cut out some of the ones that I think are really cute and add them to it. <clears throat> I think this little one here that says I have, I think it says I have summertime in my soul. I have sunshine flowing through my soul, and this um, young lady I'm making this for is perfect for this because she's a beach baby. Now, I live in Florida, but I'm not a particularly a beach baby. can fit this on there somewhere. There you go. That'll be perfect right in there. And I think there was a couple of others I wanted. Uh, let's see. Summertime is the best time. Yeah. Let's try that one. And I'll just get some of these. This paper was from a stack I got at Tuesday morning. It called something like the beach or something. And for the most part I was a little disappointed with it because they weren't really beach themed. A lot of them. But they had a few that you could use for that. Now what I'm going to do for attaching this is actually to use an ATG because we will be um, mod podging the whole top of this when it gets a chance to dry a little bit. These will just um, hold everything in place while we put the Mod Podge on. Now I did see there was a table and chairs. I thought maybe if I cut this down I might be able to fit that. Let's see if we can. I think we can get that in there. And what I'm going to do is just kind of trim the corners a little bit. Give it a little shape. And I think that'll work.
Now let's put a little Mod Podge on the front. This gives it a nice finish. Oh, let me get my paper back where I have my desk all stuck to each other. There we are. Now this, you try to get it as smooth as possible, however, it will dry line-free, usually, unless we're too gloppy. This time I'm being a little more conservative. <laughs> um, the cookie pans from Dollar Tree or any of the dollar stores also make good magnet boards. This happened to be a sign that was on sale at Big Lots, but you don't have to use a sign. Anything that's metal that will attract a magnet will work. And of course then you can get different sizes, shapes. I don't have my brayer out here, and I should. What I will do is use my old bone folder. And you just have to kind of keep going across it until it adheres without lifting. And what I did there is something you do sometimes. It tore the paper. So we will have to fix it. And I am going to fix it by adding some sunglasses. I mentioned this is a nice thick paper, but still even that, you know, you get it that wet with this Mod Podge. Okay, so here we are. And we need to let it dry, and that's really nothing we can do except to sit and wait. So I'm going to set this aside and let it dry. And we'll talk about the magnets that will go on it. Okay, now you can use most anything that will stand up as a magnet. Um, doesn't have to be the um, Michael's baubles, and by the Michael's baubles I mean these. These you find in Michael's. Uh, at my store they're sort of like at the end of the row where there's uh, rolls of ribbon. And it's, in, it's in between that and the flower department because they're really made to go in jars for floral arrangements. 
but these are, um, let's see, they're flat on the bottom, which is what you want. They're rounded on the top, and they're flat on the bottom. And these are about one inch, a big fat one inch, maybe one and an eighth uh, inch uh, in diameter. And you can see I have several. Now the magnets that I have used for these are Pro Mag flexible magnets, and I got these also at Michael's. There were eight pieces in a package. And these are about, I'd say, three quarters of an inch or half an inch. Half an inch, I guess. Oh, three quarters of an inch. There you go. <laughs> Read the package and you'll find out. And what's good about these is that your one inch punch is perfect for your image that you want to put on it. Now, I don't know whether they show up too much, but there's some little, these are like cartoon images. That is a frog. Okay. And this one is a centipede. And this one is a pretty uh, butterfly. A couple of butterflies. And then these are kind of Christmas themed. This is a, a dog with a pretty red ribbon on them. And you see they almost get a magnification when they put on the um, blocks. This is a, uh, a church in some trees. Now these, uh, this is the, um, the Magi coming. Okay, and These are these came from a sticker sheet that had been sent to me in the mail. You know, do you want to buy these cards? And uh, these are the things you can put on the envelopes at the end when you're sending them out and so on. What you need to look for is something that is going to fit nicely within that circle punch. So it can't be something that is very big in, um, it, or you won't get the whole image in. Now with this one, these worked out just fine. And these were some other images that I got from a paper stack. And by that, I'm saying these 6x6 six six paper stacks sometimes are very good for that. And you see this little one here that has owls and things on that. Okay, you can put your circle punch nicely over one of these owls. Once you can get it out of the circle punch, there you go. Okay, and that would be cute. These fit on the back perfectly. Now, what I use to attach them to the back of the little baubles is um, um, glossy accents, and I will put a layer of glossy accents down, put this on, let it dry a little bit, and then put another layer of glossy accents over it, and that has it sealed on here, as you can see. Okay. And then the magnets are attached, and I used the E6000 um, glue, and it holds up very well. Now that, the glossy accents, you can probably complete that part in, uh, you know, an hour or so, just letting it dry in between. But your magnets, you're going to need to leave them on overnight in order to set them. Otherwise, when you put them on the magnet board and pull it off, you'll pull the mag you're liable to pull the magnet right off the back of it. What's nice about these is that these little baubles aren't all that expensive and you can make a lot of different seasonal ones for Easter, Christmas, and so on. Or, if you have little pictures of your kids, grandkids, favorite dog, cat, take their picture and just put it in here. And then every time you look at your magnet board, there they are. But I mentioned this isn't the only thing you can make magnets out of. This is a... Um, see uh, an ocean or summer one and I'm going to try to do something with some shells and maybe make a magnet out of a shell. You have to get something that's going to have enough surface area to attach the magnet to. Um, and I'm not sure I this one will work. Yes, it might. Okay. 
And the only thing I would do there then is to attach this magnet with some E6000 um, glue to the shell. I have some of these other ones. The magnet, see, would fall in here. Now I will have to find some way to fill the inside of this shell so that the magnet will stay out where it will hit the board. If you're using something else other than a beach theme, say a floral theme, uh, these flowers make great magnets because they're nice and flat on the back. And you just attach the magnet and it's really pretty. You're not going to have more than four or five things on there at a time. So you don't, And you don't want your magnets to be too big. But this will also make a good magnet. So i tell you what we're going to do. We're going to let this dry and we're going to be back as soon as it's dry and see how we do. And we'll get it all finished up. Thanks. See you in a bit.